Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Monday motivational menu idea segment. Something quick, something easy, something simple. And I'm going to do a pork roast. You know how you do beef pot roast? I'm going to do pork pot roast. About an hour and a half. Really less, but we're going to do it an hour and a half. Make sure it fall apart. I'm doing it all in the instant pot. Y'all see me use this machine before. This is the best thing invention in the world. You can, you can use a slow cooker. You can fry in it. You can sear in it. You can, uh, of course, uh, cook stuff in quite of a time that you would do regularly. So what I'm going to do, y'all, got a pork, it's about a two or three pound pork shoulder here, pork roast. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to season this thing off here with salt and pepper. Put a little wishes y'all in here first. I'm going to season with a little salt and pepper. I'm going to sear it off. Get a nice sear. You can actually sear in the instant pot, y'all, but I'm going to do it in a skillet. Make it more simple. But you can use the, it's a, it's a sear button on the uh, instant pot, but I'm going to do it in the oven. I mean, in my skillet over here. So all I'm going to put here is a little cavernage, y'all. A little salt and pepper and sear it off in my searing skillet over here very easy you want to start the week off like they say y'all with something really simple and quick and what's quicker than an instant pot what is quicker than an instant pot y'all that's there get my tongue here turn this over gonna sear this off. Like I say, this is the bone in. This one has the bone in. You can get the boneless. I like the bone in. To me, it has more flavor, y'all. Little cavernous on there. Little kosher salt white pepper. And we're gonna put it in the skillet here. Here on all four sides. Get a nice golden brown sear on it. Like I say, y'all, y'all can sear it in this in the instant pot, but I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, y'all, we're gonna step off and get all this seared off. We're gonna step off. And we'll be right back once we put it in the instant pot. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. See the nice sear on there? That's what I want. What it is, you're feeling in the flavor and the juices of the pork. So now, we're going to move it back over here to the instant pot. I'm going to stick it right down in there. See that, y'all? Right down there in the pot. Very simple, very high easy is that. Now, I want the meat to be on the bottom. I'm going to add some pearl onions. I'm going to add some carrots. If you don't have pearl onion, y'all definitely can use uh, regular chopped onion. Pearl onion works so well with roast beef. I got some carrots I'm going to put in here. All the veggies, y'all. And my potatoes. Put, some little, put a little uh, potatoes in here. Y'all probably wondering, is this going to cook with all this stuff? Oh, yeah, believe me, it is. I put a little chicken base in there, more flavor, and some garlic. And I'm going to put only one cup of water in here, y'all. When I open this thing back up, if you never use Instant Pot, it's going to be more liquid than I had when I started. The reason is, this thing is completely sealed. And you know milk has milk. Meat has a lot of, uh, put a couple of cups of water. Has a lot of liquid in there, and the liquid can't escape. So where it's gonna go, nowhere. But it's gonna be set right here in the instant pot. I'm gonna open this up in the next 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half if you're playing at home. Um, I'll put a little Worcestershire in here too, y'all. There's a couple of tablespoons, and uh, I'm gonna set this thing. Put the lid on here. I'm gonna set it for an hour and a half on uh, meat, you know, I'm cooking meat. It's already on hour and a half because I already know I've made this too many times before. Make sure it's sealed in the back. You're gonna hear that little beep. There you go. 
That means it's set. It's gonna heat itself up. In an hour and a half, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna open it up. I might let it release itself. If not, I'll steam release it. You're gonna see the nice, tender, flavorful pork roast, the potatoes, everything gonna be perfectly cooked. And it's gonna have, I ain't gonna have a gravy to this. You can make a gravy to it, but I'm gonna just show you how quick and easy it is. And you can add a gravy, you can make a gravy to it, but I just like the flavor of the broth that's left over. It's so flavorful, you don't have to make a gravy to it. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back in about an hour and a half. All right, y'all, we back here. The pork is ready. And let me see, I gotta release the steam. I will let it release itself a little. And what I do, I just put a little towel over it. Sometimes I'll let it self-release. But if I'm not patient, I'll release it just like this. So we're gonna let this release, and it's gonna take but a, maybe a minute here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut this off. And unplug it. And just let it release itself, y'all. It's gonna slowly release. That's the safety thing on this. It ain't like the old, uh, it ain't like the old pressure cookers back in the day that would explode and bust a hole through your roof or anything like that. These have a safety feature on it. Well, it will not release. It will not open until this steam is completely released. And this little thing in the back pops down. You see a little button here in the back. I've showed y'all before. Then it'll pop down. Just give it one second here, y'all. See, I cannot open this. No matter how hard I try, I can't open it until this steam pops down and all this steam is released. That is the awesome. And when I open this, you're going to see it's going to have a nice tender pork roast. The potatoes, you're going to see how much liquid has accumulated in this. You know, I put on a cup and a half of liquid in here, and you're going to see how much liquid is in here already. All right, y'all, one second. Once this thing drops down in the back, I don't know if y'all can see that in the back there, but that's a little safety twitch in there. One more minute here. And it'll drop down. There you go, it dropped. See it drop? And this is what we got here, y'all. And this pork is perfectly tender. Y'all can see into this. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to take the potatoes and carrots and all that out first. You can see all that liquid in there that's accumulated. That's why I didn't put a lot of liquid in the first place. And the potatoes and carrots is perfectly cooked. I'm going to take a little of them off the top. Put them around in here. So I can get to the pork. Got the onions in there, pearl onions. See how the, and this is nothing but flavor, y'all. Nothing but absolute flavor. I'm gonna put them all around here. If I can get this, uh, and we're gonna lift out this pork here. I'm trying to get it while I don't tear it up, because I know it's gonna be so tender. And like I said, y'all, this is a good way to begin the week. Get you, if you don't have an instant pot, and they're cheaper than it was when I bought this one. This one cost like 150 bucks when I bought it. Now you can get them for like 30 bucks sometimes. All right, let's pick this up. See that, y'all? See how pretty that is? Look at that there, y'all. Let me get my spoon here with my... Now, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to get the rest of the potatoes out of here. See that? around there. See how them carrots kept their shape? That's why I put the carrots and potatoes and all that on top because the heat is at the bottom. And I put the meat at the bottom and the potatoes and all that and pearl onions all that at the top. And just put it around like this. I'm going to show y'all here and I'm going to step off here and let this set up a little bit and then we're going to come back and we're going to slice up some. I'm going to show y'all how tender and delicious this is, y'all. Another thing, y'all saw I did the fat side up. I always do the fat side up if you got fat and all that on your 
And you can put English peas in this. You can do whatever you want. Put celery. You know, I didn't put celery in mine. You know, I'm not a celery fan. You can put celery, corn. You put corn on the cob in this thing. Like I say, Instant Pot is the best invention in the world in the last 10, 15 years. Because it does there. You just set it and forget it. Next to my electric smoker, outside, I think this is the best equipment I have in my house. So anyway, y'all, we're going to step off here. I'm going to let this rest. We're going to come back, and we're going to try this out. And we're going to show you how it is. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Hey, y'all, I'm going to make some gravy for this pork. One second here, y'all. Because this stock is so flavorful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some Worcestershire in here. And I'm going to do it right in the Instant Pot, y'all. All I did is put it on the saute setting. Put some black pepper in here. And you're just gonna put some roux. Y'all know the roux that I make. And just put it right in here. We're gonna make the gravy right in this pot here, y'all. For this pork. Nice little thin gravy to go on top. See how easy that is? But yo, can't have pot roast without gravy, y'all. So, right? And that's it. See how quick that was, y'all? We're gonna let that simmer here for about two or three minutes. Put this up here. I'm gonna taste it for salt and pepper. If you need any seasoning. See how quick that was, y'all? Okay, let me check for seasoning, see if we need any, any salt and pepper. Cause you remember I seasoned the meat really good. Just a little salt and pepper, not a lot, y'all. That's it. Put that right there. That's a lot of gravy. I'm gonna have a lot of gravy left here for something else. Let me get my ladle here to show y'all. See that, y'all? See how quick that was to make the gravy for the meat? That took how long? Natural gravy, right from the meat. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off. I'm going to put this gravy in something. We're going to come back here. We're going to slice some of this pork up, put it in a plate with these vegetables, and we're going to give it a taste, y'all. So we'll be back here in about five to ten minutes. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, the pork roast, look at that, with the gravy on there. See that? Put the gravy over here in the pot. See that gravy right there? Natural gravy. Oh, you see, the, see that garlic? I'm gonna make somebody YouTube famous, y'all. I'm gonna let it rain. Y'all know me. I don't even, I just let it rain. All right, y'all. I got two more rings, y'all. That'll do it for that. I got my Louisiana hot sauce. Put my hot sauce on there. And y'all, this is good eating on the money, y'all. Good eating on a Monday. Nice and tender. Let me show y'all here. How tender this is, y'all. Here we go. Mm. If you don't eat pork, you can do the same way with beef. But y'all know I love me some pork. Look at y'all. Put in that gravy. Potato. Let me show you how tender potato are. Potatoes not mushy. Carrots kept their shape. See that? Got the pearl onion. Pearl onions here. Potatoes perfectly cooked. See that? On the gravy. On that meat here. Oh yeah, y'all. Hold on, one more bite. And this is so flavorful, like I told y'all, when you cook in the Instant Pot, it keeps all the flavor intact. It doesn't escape to the air. Meaning, your meat and vegetable, wherever you cook, it's gonna be more flavorful. It's gonna have a stronger, intact for flavor. I love this, y'all, Diamond Tail. But, anyway, y'all, 
Monday motivation. No, this is yeah. Monday motivational menu idea, baby. We cook this in an hour. See how easy I did it. So anyway, y'all. Um, let me close this video. Remember to follow me on TikTok, y'all, and Instagram. I keep forgetting to tell y'all. Instagram, TikTok. Follow me. I'm about 8,500 on Instagram. I'm going to try to get to 10,000 for the end of the year. And TikTok, I just started, so I'm going to try to get 1,000 for the end of the year. So y'all go follow me there. It's Old School Soul Food. That's the name of it. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.